Cincinnati have one draw, which they won at Mercedes-Benz Stadium right at the start of last season, very early days of the then expansion team. Atlanta, that was slightly wider than this one. Marco in attendance, comes out as far as Piti Martinez. And that struck. Well, Fortune has rarely favoured Cincinnati in their MLS existence so far, but maybe they've caught a break today. Kubo. Stanko. And Rigaten. And then it was Joe Chow, but Rigaten was the one who really fluffed his lines. Well, Madunian, then going forward, they're still showing, I don't know, questions of what, what to do, where to go. It's difficult when their default position in many games, because of the sheer number of goals they've conceded, has been one of survival. When they are offered an opportunity to do something more than that, it's not always easy. Difficult part for Jop Stam is he doesn't have the pieces to do that, right? I'm asking for some changes, but yet he's got two designated players not available today. You know, Alan Cruz is another special player. I think he's an extremely integral part of this team. And Greg Garza is out. But you look at three of the four names I just gave you, those would be the options you can bring into this one. For me, it's about the mentality. Is there any ambition to try to win this game? Is there any ambition to try to get three points? Team. There's a spikiness now to this, which is welcome. Medunyani. Oh, that's just great goalkeeping. You've got three or four players in and around your area. It's difficult to come off your line. If you come off your line, you better get a little touch in just the slightest of touches. Was it clean? No, but it doesn't matter. Once Guzan commits to that, just the slightest touch. Throw May have done Jeff Lorentowitz out of a year. He's 36, 37 next birthday, which is only three weeks away. Ciao. Kubo! Oh, what a save. It's a smart stop because that was creeping inside the post. Joe Jao, extremely dynamic, but recognizes how Edgar Castillo, that, that's too easy. That's not strong enough. So now he forces him inside, which when you're a man down, you want that because your support is there. But Edgar Castillo, with no pressure on Joe Jao, he slips in Kubo. Brad goes down with a big save. First Cincinnati effort on goal after an hour of play. Circumstances, you're playing a man down. You've got what many of us felt like was the more difficult game in the group coming up against Columbus. So you've got to make sure you don't open up Amaya. here. Oh, Frankie Amaya with a bolt from the blue. The teenage Tyro. The first pick in the 2019 Super Draft took a swing with his left and has landed a potentially knockout blow square on the jaw of Atlanta. And it took about 75 minutes to get Frankie Amaya in this spot, right behind Jeff Lorenowitz and in front of the back three of Atlanta United. Great spot from Frankie Amaya and even a better finish with his left foot. But for the first time all morning long, FC Cincinnati got a dangerous player in a dangerous spot and someone that had the quality to put the ball in the back of the net. A memorable first goal for FC Cincinnati in the career of Frankie Amaya. The target goalpost cam just showing how comprehensively Brad Guzan was beaten. Now. Literally happens, John, right when I'm talking about how important it is for Atlanta United to at least get... 
So after 75 minutes that was at times difficult to watch, Frankie Amaya panic. Different complexion to the group now. And Atlanta United, if it does come to pass that they have no points from two games, will find themselves in the same position as Inter Miami and New York City. Teams that were touted to do well, clinging by their fingers. Six in the penalty area for Atlanta United. Escobar. Heinemann. Rometty. Again, Emerson Heinemann. And the shot crisp by Castro, but not enough to really significantly trouble Teton. Well, Castro did look comfortable the other night against the Red Bulls as a nine. He looks more comfortable in a supporting role, coming from wide areas, creating his own opportunity here. I'm just amazed, John. Filched away by Cincinnati. Not for long. Robinson. Escobar. Lennon. Start of Deplan. Remedi. And Gutman getting enough of a challenge in. And Brooks Lennon to goal kick. No, but if there's been anything apparent over the last, I'd say, five to seven minutes for Atlanta United, it's the opposite side winger trying to play a part in that. We've seen Brooks Lennon, we've seen Castro on the other side. So it's imperative that while FC Cincinnati have three center backs, their two wing backs make sure they follow those runners coming in. On the other hand, John, though, I still sit there and look at and, and look at you and say, you just memorable wins in MLS, Taylor. It's not a lot of competition in their history. No. The fact that we're asking the question almost answers it in itself, doesn't it? But I've been part of wins, John, where you leave the field and go, whew. How'd we do that one? But if you're trying to build a culture and you're trying to build a foundation and you've said it to many people. This leaves Frank de Boer's Atlanta in a perilous position in the group. Zero points from two games if it stays this way. Columbus still to play next Tuesday. Oh, Atlanta supporters are going to find themselves in the position of having to root for the Red Bulls next Monday when they face Cincinnati. And then hope that Atlanta can take care of business against Columbus the following day. Cincinnati at this late stage. Can they finish it off oh. in style? Well, Vasquez might have done. The fact he hasn't leaves Guzan eager to get. Last chance for the diminished Atlanta United. Remedi with a Hail Mary. Lennon challenging. Behind it goes for a goal kick, and the clock ticks away to the point where it's all over, and Cincinnati have their landmark win, and Atlanta United are deep in trouble in this MLS is back tournament. Victims as well of their own indiscipline today.
and a wonderful winning goal from 19-year-old Frankie Amaya. And as you look at those group standings, that last miss from Vasquez could play a huge part in this group with goal differential.